Snow is the last thing on your mind on this beautiful warm weather day, but it was top of mind for Erie County officials this week. Good evening, I'm Claudine Ewing. After multiple requests, Erie County Executive Mark Polencars quietly authorized the release of the county's blizzard after action reports on Friday afternoon. Two on your sides, Nate Benson has read them over and has reaction tonight from an Erie County lawmaker, Nate. Yeah, Claudine, the 50 page report is a compilation of individual reports from each department, and it was meant to use to identify what went wrong and what went right during the blizzard response. Some of the key takeaways from the reports is that the majority of departments feel that there's need for more training, particularly those who were asked to volunteer for the emergency snow hotline that was set up. That snow hotline was also overwhelmed by the number of 911 calls that made it to that hotline. And and the hotline was understaffed at times. Another consistent message from the several departments that provided reports is that upgrades to critical technical infrastructure is needed. We caught up with Erie County Legislator Howard Johnson earlier today to get his reaction to the reports. But it's something we're going to have to invest into, and you know, um, you can't put a can't put a price tag on uh, the safety of people. Um, so I, I don't think it's going to be an issue for the legislature. You know, once we get dive into it, take a look at it, and strip out and see what's needed. The Erie County Department of Homeland Security and Emergency Services reported that more county employees need to be trained in order to operate the influx of ATV and UTVs the county has purchased. The county health department also reported that hospitals in the county had unrealistic expectations for discharging patients and quickly became overwhelmed. On your side, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.